Okay, well, here's the newest project, which has nothing to really do with anything that I'd usually do, but I was suckered into rebuilding this for the job because, uh, well, we got to have our plow truck working, and we have two plow trucks, but, you know, one isn't good enough, so I got to go through this and replace the seals and hopefully it'll quit leaking and so we don't have to put fluid in it every every couple days we plow but anyways this is a western plow um, it's pretty old the truck it's on is like a 75 Ford four-wheel drive truck and uh, I imagine this western plow is almost as old as it. I don't know that for sure though. It does actually have some cables that actuate stuff. Um, so, if that gives you an idea of the vintage, unfortunately, all the data plate is pretty well faded, except for, I guess, those numbers and somewhere else on there, some numbers. But, well, I'm going to start taking her apart and see if we can't get it rebuilt. Okay, I got the uh, electric motor, pump, whatever you want to call that off. This has got a... Oh, that's probably the pump down there. But um, I guess I'll be pulling that out. I see it's got a filter way down in there. You probably can't see it because of the light. But anyway, there's a filter down there and I see that there's a filter right there in the rebuild kit. And I pulled these two covers off. That's where the cables go to actually do your up and down and side to side. So, um, and once again, I'm going to say I do not know anything about these. And I don't really know what I'm doing, so it could work out real good or it could work out real bad. But, uh, I'm going to carry on tearing it apart. Okay. Not a whole lot to this thing, I guess. I'll have to look at the ram, lift ram seal here too, but um, so this pump, um, you got these two bolts with these washers, and those are the only two that hold it to the actual body, so these must be the bolts to take the pump apart. This adjustment bolt, whatever it's for, came out of here and the wash the gasket behind it was that so probably good chance is where most of our oil leak was and uh, just loosen this crazy little doodad thing this must be the uh, what sends the fluid from one valve to the next so I'll keep tearing it apart and Turn you on when I see something important looking. There's another number there. So. All right. You ever seen a gasket that thin? Oops. It's literally plastic, or I don't know what it is, but um, imagine that the uh, rebuild kit didn't come with it. So. Because I'm smart because I didn't destroy it. So there's one part we'll be putting right back together that we don't have parts for. Well, they've sent like 4,000 O-rings and seals and stuff that don't even fit this. But the pieces that do fit it, I guess, are at least in the kit. So this must be for multiple snow plows. So um, I do have a new one of those. I noticed a little... Springy is missing out of here to keep the uh, flap sealed, so I'll replace that. <clears throat> so as I was showing that paper gasket, I don't have one, so I cleaned up the surface is really super good and all that good stuff, and uh, I'm gonna clean this up really good and put the two new O-rings in there. And pop it back on there and uh, to hold my o-rings in I'm gonna use this stuff 
I use it for a lot of things and uh, uh, it should be fine. A little plumber's grease never hurt any hydraulic fluid. This crazy thing here is kind of like a needle and a float, I guess. Um, when it uh, gets enough pressure, I guess it's probably a bypass of some sort. It pushes a little ball bearing and pushes a spring. Unfortunately, I cannot get that apart. And uh, sadly, it looks like they sent me the parts for it, but um, yeah, I can't get them apart. So, let's just say it's good and it works. I mean, the plow work, it just leaked fluid everywhere, so that was probably fine, anyways. Well, since they didn't send me any gaskets for any of this stuff, um, I'm not going to take this thing apart. I'm going to replace the O-rings that I can get to, and I put the new filter on it. There's the old filter, so I'm going to do that. I got uh, all these little gizmos that's that thing with the spring the little check valve thing in it so yeah, I'll kind of explain more as I was as I'm going but uh, I really don't know what I'm how this thing really works and uh, you know it'll be a miracle if it works when I'm done with it but uh, hopefully it'll just quit leaking and it works I didn't take anything out of adjustment I just kind of marked everything as I went and Put it exactly back the way it came out so um, just freshening it up with the rings and the seals so yeah, I'll carry on here you know how most people complain that these seals are really hard to get out they're absolutely right I don't spend too much time on it but man that little guy did not want to come out of there I'm good, it fits. I'll get that pounded in there, get this gasket on, and I uh, got the oil pump back in. Slap him back on, and I uh, guess we'll take a look at the ram. Might have been a reason why it was leaking. Almost hand tight. Well, I spoke too soon. I don't know how to do a little reading on it. I don't know if you actually tighten these all the way down or not. But, um, Oh, that's a really long uh, packing nut right there. Also, since everybody knows how great the lighting is in my videos, I guess there is a little rust in the Gremlin. Probably the first time I've ever seen it in the light, so uh, something else I'll have to work on. Got just a couple more things to put together on this and then it's done. If it looks cleaner than it did, that's because I just hosed it down with some brake clean to make it look like I know what I'm doing. But uh so these things come off in like a predetermined little pack. And uh, the new ones come in a already in the uh, I guess the right order hmm. well I'm gonna get two hands on here before I drop and lose something and I'll show you the finished product I gotta stick that 
new seal in there and all this stuff here well including that is pretty much everything I replaced in this thing so not a whole lot of stuff but that's pretty much every seal on it so hopefully it doesn't leak anymore all right I'll bring you back here in a few well, the rest of this went in real super simple imagine as soon as I turned off the camera everything just kind of went together so those new the new little seal kind of pack thing is down in there I gotta check real quick and see if you actually tighten this thing all the way down or if you just kind of set it to a certain depth and you know you're not supposed to crush those uh, seals all the way down but um, I don't really know so but um, anyways like I said just something I had to do real quick for the job so I thought I'd just show you and um, I did have to go fix the boss man snowmobile the other day and uh, I just had my phone with me and unfortunately I didn't press record like I thought I was half the time so I only got a couple minutes of it but uh, I'll just kinda give you a quick idea of what was going on so the pull start broke and the boss man didn't want to work on it so he told me since it was going to be like 40 degrees and sunny I should go fix that for him so he can move his snowmobile and uh, so I just ended up fixing the pull the pull start apart put a new pull start in it and uh, primed it up and got it running it's been sitting all season so uh, he'll have a good running snowmobile it runs pretty good and uh, so I'll just kind of throw that at the end of this video here, but I'm just telling you all this now because it's pretty incomplete. There's just a few spots I recorded, so you'll get the gist of it. So, All right, well, we'll uh, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. I also meant to say uh, I won't be able to tell you how this works out until maybe next weekend when we get the truck back from the tire shop and everything. So. I'll just have to give you an update on how it works. Well, anyways, see you next time.